So I welcome everyone, and uh, let's get this thing started. We're going to have first our uh, prayer by Pastor James Perry of the First Methodist Church. Actually, it's not. Free Methodist Church. <laughs> oh, yeah, free. Sorry. The free. There's a United First United, and there's a free Methodist. We're two different, but we're very much alike. So let's go ahead and pray together. Lord, we thank you so much for this Christmas time and what it means and what it means for families. And Lord, we thank you that our community every year comes together and we celebrate Christmas. We celebrate the holidays. We celebrate you. Lord, I pray that this holiday season, this Christmas season, Lord, we focus on what matters most. And we focus on our families and our friends. We focus on what you did for us and the miracle of Christmas. Lord, I pray that we experience hope and peace, Lord, that we experience your love that you have for us in the world. And Lord, I pray that we give a piece of that hope and a a piece of peace to somebody else this Christmas season. Lord, may we demonstrate by our words and our actions as a community and in our families what love is. Lord, as we celebrate tonight, may this be a joyful time for us as a community. Lord, I pray that you spread your spirit of peace around all of every one of us. And Lord, as we celebrate these uh, the, the, the angels that we're going to be hanging, Lord, may this be a moment that's special, but Lord, may this be a, a moment of peace where we gather around those that have experienced a loss in our community, Lord. May our families shine this Christmas, Lord. We ask this in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you very much, Pastor. Now, I'm going to need everyone's help here. I like to do a countdown before we light the tree. So we're going to start at 10, and we're going to count down, then we're going to turn the tree on. Is everybody ready? Yes! 10, 9, of the angels of light to remember those that we've lost uh, this is an important time of year for all of us to to think about the people that we love and have loved throughout our lives and to remember them and this is a chance for the families to do that and hang an angel on the tree for an angel that they know I want to welcome you as well and I'm so grateful for the opportunity that we have to share with those that we loved and lost, and to share with hospice. And it goes, as you know, to both St. Clair County and Macomb County. And we're just thrilled of those that are anxious to give. And with no further ado, I will read to you those that we are so pleased with. Of course, our mayor, Dan and Jackie Weaver have donated for her mom, Betty Wellbus. Then 
one of the first envelopes I get every year, which is so exciting that people really want to share, and that is Jeff White and Mary Kay. And they always donate for their loved ones in memory of the Sleppy family and the Glover family. We're so thrilled, and I'm not sure Jeff could be here tonight. I know he was going to try to be. But if not, Jackie, are you um, sure. planning to put them on for us? Thank you, Jackie. And then um, our uh, friends from Stratford, Leland and Chloe Scott, always like to donate in memory of our son, Kyle Powers, who we lost with leukemia when he was only seven years old. And Jackie's going to have to do that because they were <laughs> unable to be here tonight, though they really wanted to stay. but. They ended up with car troubles, so they're back in Stratford getting a car, a new transmission in their vehicle. And Gary and Doris Lynch, they also were going to try and be here tonight. And they always donate in memory of her sister, Shirley Sancho and brother, Mike Santo. I'm family, not I, here. Guess I get to do it. <laughs> Aren't you glad you put the hooks on, Jay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's on like more one. family and then someone wants to be here for Raymond Burkett, Ruth Burkett, and James Burkett. We had, okay, thank you. Thank you. Glad you could be here. Ray and Nadine Moses, I know, could not be here tonight either. So, Jackie, you will be putting up one for their daughter, Cheryl Moses Lashley, who was killed in a car accident two weeks after she was married at 19. And we do have Linda Lavery here, I know. And she puts in for Dave Schoner and Kenna Rinky. Sometimes I get so nervous I can't see or talk. <laughs> I don't know why we've been doing this for so long, and it's just a wonderful thing and so great to have so many here sharing with us. Kevin, our son, who <laughs> works afternoons and couldn't be here, and Annalyn, his wife, Powers, she uh, wanted to put in for her father, Pedro Tampiak, and of course, Kyle Powers. And Jackie, Steve, and Kelly Williams could not be here tonight, so we'll need one for Grandma and Grandpa Powers and one for Grandma and Grandpa Moses. And I'm going to let my 
other daughter, Jackie Weaver, whom I've had in my life since she was a little girl. Tyler! And I knew her mom back then, too, when she lived here. So she's going to put the angels on for Hod and Nina Powers. For my dear cousin, Janice Lacey, who was like more a sister to me. And of course, all the loved ones that we have gone before. We're old enough that we have quite a few, I'm sorry to say. But just one will be fine, Jackie. Thank you. And I'm not sure whether Glenda was going to be able to be here or not, but Glenda Soma, who also donates every year for Virginia Zucas, her mom, if there's anyone here that would like to put that up, even though Glenda's not here, Bill, would you like to put that angel on for Virginia? I will. And also Donald Hoxett. Mother, nephew. Uh huh. Helen Donaldson, good friend. And Gary Santo. <laughs> <laughs> the Govier family, and I know Diane was going to try to be here tonight, and she's uh, donating for her mother, Charlene Govier. I, is there anyone here? If not, Jackie? One for Charlene Govier. And also, if she's not here, I know there's no one here for Sylvan Tadros either, and that's from the Tadros family. So we'll need two for them. And I got a call from Dr. Mark Willannon, really wanted to come tonight and had planned to, but uh, unfortunately something happened that they were not able to come either. And Dr. Mark and his wife, Tisha Willannon, are donating for her mother and father, Valeria and Jerome Badke. That's good. Going home with you. It's going to be trouble. Wonderful. And I know that Amy Keenan is here from Dearborn and who would like to donate for her father, Bob Cunnings, who was a dear friend of ours also. And then maybe Philip would like to go up with his mom and he's donating for Papa Cunnings also. Maybe the last two we'll have to put on just one for uh, the, the two people. Do we have two left? Okay, then we'll have Pastor Jim Huff if he's here. He said he could not be here. No, he could not be here tonight. And it's, it's in uh, memory of their granddaughter, 13 years old, they just lost with leukemia in April granddaughter Elena Zalek and his brother-in-law Richard Badger. Uh, our last one, and certainly not the least, is our Tom Johnson from our Memphis Fire Department, which we were thrilled that he could come did I, what did I say? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. They're wonderful and precious to us, too. But he happens to be with us for about three months now from the Memphis Police Department. And he and his family are donating for his mother, Gladys Louise Johnson, whom we just lost recently. So thank you so much, everyone. And thank you. We had enough angels to go around.
and uh, we're happy to be able to wait for Santa Claus, who will be here soon, and tons of cookies over at the city's office. So thank you again. All right, everyone. Uh, now we're going to sing some Christmas carols, and I'd like all of you to sing along uh, with the Memphis High School Band and choir with band director Josh Ash. Catch you off early, sir. We're going to start with the band. You don't have to sing with the band. We're just going to play some songs for you. Then we're going to we're uh, marching in the Pontiac Parade, the Sarnia Parade, and the Rochester Parade all this weekend. So we're going to start off by playing some of those songs for you. Go get her. What? Go
You should have a little blue pamphlet with some lyrics on it. If not, there's a bunch up here on the bench. You can just raise your hand and some of the band kids will uh, run them around to you. Band kids. Some, uh, right in here, there's some papers with blue. Uh, they're blue and they've got lyrics on them. Just walk around to people really quick. The choir came in also with me tonight and they're going to sing with us and lead you in some songs with me. Um, I just want you to know before we do it that all the kids that are here tonight, they're not getting a grade for this. I never give them a grade for tree lighting. They do it out of the kindness of their hearts, and uh, which is a pretty awesome blessing to see this many young people come out and uh, and be a part of a community event and not be forced to do it. So you can give them a round of applause. That's pretty cool. Sing this. start with Silent Night. And in the middle, of the, you'll hear the choir quietly, probably, because they're pretty small and no, no speakers on, or no mics on them, but we're going to sing the middle in German for you, and then we'll sing the last part to you.
for just to squeeze in all those ones that the kids like.
pudding. Oh, bring us a biggie pudding. Oh, bring us a biggie pudding and a cup of good cheer. We won't go until we get some. We won't go until we get some. We won't go until we get some. So bring some right here. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Good tidings we bring to you and your kin. Good tidings for Christmas and a Happy New Year. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy Are we ready for uh, someone coming to town? Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Santa Claus is coming to town. He's making a list. He's checking it twice. He's going to find out who. Santa Claus is coming to town. He sees you when you're sleeping. He knows when you're awake. He knows when you've been bad. Oh, it's so good. Oh, here he comes. Oh, you better watch out. You better not cry. You better not pout. I'm telling you why. Merry Christmas! Let him come up here and say a few words, and I'm going to go over and have good hands and go over and talk to him. Can the police help Jim and Molly get through the microphone, please? Are you guys happy to see me? So let me ask you a very important question. Have you been good this year? <laughs> well, I remember each and every one of you. And I want to tell you how much I love you. Because that's what this is all about, isn't it? It's about loving each other. Okay, the fire truck has the road blocked. If everybody would follow Santa, Santa's going to head over to the fire department. Everybody follow him. Go over to the fire department and uh, you'll get a chance to uh, have some cookies and some hot chocolate. Thank everybody for coming. I'd like to thank the band and uh, Josh Ash, who is their uh, director of the band and the choir. They did a wonderful job. I would like to thank uh, Nina Powers and the Angels of Light program that's done by uh, the Chamber of Commerce. And I'd like to thank everybody else. So have a, have a Merry Christmas. How tall are the elves? You know, they're all different sizes. I've got tall elves and I've got really small elves. I always wondered what elves look like. Oh, they're beautiful. They're, they're perfect. They're just like you. They are. They're
the holiday season. I've been looking forward to coming back and visiting you. You're all so special to me and so warm in my heart. I want you to promise me that you're going to love your families the way that I love you. And remember what the Christmas season is for. Let's all be together as a family and love each other. Thank you, and I'll see you on Christmas Eve. God bless you. Thank you, Santa. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you. We wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.